There are two species of orangutans. They're the Bornean orangutans, which are known by the scientific name Pongo pygmaeus. And then there are the Sumatran species, which are known by the scientific name Pongo abelii. Orangutans are the only great ape found in Southeast Asia. Orangutans, like all great apes, make a brand new nest every night to sleep in and those nests are made very high off the ground. Orangutans sometimes climb 150 feet in the forest canopy. Their nests are always up in the trees at night. They never ever nest on the ground. So when we talk about intelligence and great apes, really what we're saying is how similar are they to human intelligence? And the answer is that we're very, very similar. We know that orangutans, for example, recognize themselves in a mirror just like we do. So do the other African great apes. We know that orangutans are extremely capable tool users and tool makers. All the types of things we have in terms of human abilities are represented in the great apes and in orangutans, but we can see differences in degree. So both Borneans and Sumatrans are actually considered critically endangered. The biggest issue for them is actually deforestation um, because they are dependent on the trees for their survival. Unfortunately, as more and more of the rainforest is cut down and cleared, they just don't have anywhere to go. They're just an important part of the ecosystem. They live up in the trees and they're eating fruits and dispersing the seeds and sort of keeping that system functioning. The number one reason that forest home is disappearing is for agriculture, and the number one product being grown is palm oil. It can be grown in a very ethical way, but not all producers are doing that. So the important thing for consumers is to look for certified sustainable palm oil, or of course, no palm oil. Unless something significant changes for orangutans, Quickly, we have to be very, very concerned about their ability to last into the future.